Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony G. And I am Tony G, Tony Green. Um, so today is Memorial Day, and I am going to try to keep my show at 30 minutes because I'm going to record Create a Life You Love right after this. And then I have, like, so much going on today. It's craziness, just craziness. I thought I'd be able to bike. And I won't be able to. And if you know anything about me, you know that makes me really sad. Um, so I think there are two seasons. There's winter and then there's cycling season. <laughs> so that tells you there's where I sit. My hair is um, not looking right. Anyway, so we are going to get started right away. First of all, being Memorial Day in America, we call it Memorial Day. In other countries, they um, call it Remembrance Day, or they may have different names for this particular holiday. What the holiday represents, obviously, is in memory of. And some people uh, use it in memory of anyone who has passed, but also in memory of those in the military who have served and lost their life uh, defending our country. And what's going on in the world today? Um, okay, really, in some ways, saddens me because. Those that defend our country, whether it be on our streets daily and at night, and those who are defending our country um, against any evils that might try to take our freedoms, are not being respected and honored for putting their lives on the line to make sure that we are safe and we can go home at night or be home at night or drive down the street without living like we are in a third world country. A lot of people who are looking at one aspect of something, one incident, one over propagandized media event or two um, really aren't bringing the respect forward that is needed for those who defend us daily. So I just want to say uh, I know I honor and respect our military and our protectors so much. I hope you do too. No matter what country you live in, these are the people who leave their families, put their lives on the line to make sure that we have the ability to go out and celebrate today and have freedom of speech and have freedom to have a barbecue or to do whatever it is that we want to do. So please honor them, respect them. And uh, for every person that's bad in any industry, there are so many more that are good. You know, there are bad attorneys that give good attorneys a bad rap. So just, you know, everything in perspective. So having said that, I want to say hi to those online watching me live on YouTube. Hey, Genevieve. Hey, Em. I hope everything is good in your world. Um, I am okay. So a few little announcements before I go to callers. If you want to ask a question, please call in um, 845-277-9131 is the call in number that you can call into. Um, and I, I think because it's a holiday, there aren't a lot of people on my call log right now. So if you want to get in and call, it is open. I can see that. I want to thank Rude Rangers TV. I am so excited to be a part of their family and their stations, um, to be a part of their grouping. They have the most amazing energy I've ever 
um, experience. It's such an honor to be able to work with them. So this show airs on WSCS every week for 30 minutes. If you are watching me on WSCS, thank you so much for watching me. I greatly appreciate it. At the 30 minute mark it, or at the 28 minute mark, it will cut off of WSCS. If you want to see the rest of the show, there are many ways you can do that. You can go to my YouTube station and yes, Genevieve, call in. And I want to talk with you today on the show. Um, you can go to my YouTube station and watch the rest of the show. You can watch on RudeRangersTV.com. And you can download the Rude Rangers TV app. Just Google it. You will find it. Rude Rangers is streaming me live on Roku. Amazon Fire Stick, and I think Apple TV, Mondays at 6 p.m. if you want to watch. Please, I have a friend in um, Florida that I told um, that I was going to be streaming, and he said, oh, awesome. I have an 80-inch TV. I'm like, oh, dude, no. I do not use Botox or fillers. Please do not blow my face up that big. Seriously. <laughs> um so he, he and I had a a good laugh about that. Um, do not, but please, if you put me on a 80 inch TV, please be kind about it. Um, okay, uh, what's the other thing? WSCS. I'm Blog Talk, of course. I'm on Blog Talk, and Rude Rangers is also streaming me on many podcasts, and I'm so grateful to be a part of them. Uh, they have a great magazine called Win Magazine, which I will hopefully be adding to soon. And uh, we are working out some details for Create a Life You Love. So listen, Create a Life You Love is my second show. And I love this show because it takes, um, if you, it, it, people who have a passion and turn it into their purpose and make it their life's work. So if you own a business or you have done this and you want to be on Create a Life You Love, you can reach out to Rude Rangers, um, Rudy or Amber. They'll be happy to help set that up. See, that's why else I love them, because they're helping me in that area to get that show going um, in that in that way. OK, so that's going to be amazing and Phenomenal, and I'm so looking forward to that. And to, to talking again, having live interviews on that show again, I'll still be doing, don't worry, don't panic, I'll still be doing Law of Attraction, Manifestation, uh, Create a Life You Love, because I think it's important to listen to how somebody got there, how they did it. Everybody thinks it's an overnight come up with rappers and movie stars. Just because you didn't hear about them before they started or blew up doesn't mean they weren't in the street hustling or struggling or working day and night to get there. Very few people are overnight sensations, and those who are overnight sensations don't always become lifelong sensations. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that, right? There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But Oh, so um, Create a Life You Love has a two different uh, formats that meld into one. The first part is me um, just talking about how you can create that life you love, how you manifest it, what, what makes you in the flow, what puts you in the flow of that. And the second part is interviewing um, business owners and um and uh, people who have accomplished their goals. Now, if you would like me to interview you where you are, let's say you're in Florida or New Orleans, wherever you are, uh, again, talk to Amber and Rudy. They will set up all those details. We will come to your business, um, take pictures, just and make it a beautiful interview for you. Okay, now today on Psychic Medium, Tony G, I am going to be taking callers. Again, the number is, um, let me let me just double check the number, 
425-277-9131. Hopefully you can get through. I don't know. Hopefully there's not an issue with blog talk today because usually I have like, oh, you know what? It's a holiday. And sometimes on holidays, people can't get through. I hope that's not the case today. I really do. Um, so uh, please try if you, if, and I've had this before where if it's a holiday, um, there people have not been able to get through, but I, I hope that's not the case. However, if I can't, if I can't get callers on blog talk, just post your question in the, um, in the, you know, <laughs> the chat area of YouTube. <laughs> Oh, words are my things, but that doesn't mean they always come to me the way they're supposed to. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, so you guys, I'm I'm working on my eighth book and the content just keeps coming to me. I keep going to put it in the computer, but the content keeps coming. So I haven't even been able to put it in the computer yet. And it's so making me a little sad because I'm like, oh, this is so much content. How, how am I going to format this? But by the end of the week, I'm going to stop with the content and just start putting it in the computer and then it will be available. Would you like pre-sales on this? I don't know. I just kind of like to pop it out when it's ready. Otherwise, I feel a lot of pressure. I don't want to feel pressure. So I'm going to say hello to some of the people on YouTube right now. Hey, Steve, how are you? Oh, we met last Memorial Day. I can't even remember. Steve, can you remind me what I did last Memorial Day? <laughs> Where was I? What did I do? It was wonderful meeting you. I'm, I'm sure it was. Um, I know that for a fact. Um, okay, Genevieve. Oh, the line is dropping on blog talk. Okay, so I'm sorry, folks. I'm, don't be offended, Steve. I'm I don't even remember what I did like three days ago. Please don't be offended. Oh, you had an appointment. Visited my office. See? I am so sorry that I didn't remember that. I am so sorry. I, I I was my mind right away went. To, was there like a was there like a picnic or a event I went to last Memorial Day? Um, it, it's with the way the last year has been. It's all been kind of a little blurry, right? Yes. Okay, here we go. Okay, so since the calls are dropping to blog talk and nobody's able to get through, so M, if you have anyone, if you have a question you want to ask, and I'm sorry, I'm going to try to Mahash, Mahash Rajput. Mahash Rajput, if you have a question you would like to ask, Genevieve, if you have a question you'd like to ask, Steve, if you have a question you would like to ask, please go ahead, put it in the chat section. I will answer it. Um, please make your questions a little bit more direct. And while you guys are thinking of your questions to put in, I'm going to see, I'm going to talk a little bit about, can I talk? Oh, you know what I want to talk about today? Relationships. A little bit. Just a little bit. Um, not only relationships as they are with a partner, like a love partner, but relationships as they pertain to um, friends and family. And one of the biggest things that I will say that I've been noticing with everyone is that in relationships, with relationships, there tends to be a pattern, a type of person that we are continually bringing into our life. And a lot of times, knowingly or unknowingly, this is someone who is just like someone in our family. For example, our partners can tend to have some of the same characteristics and behaviors as one or both of our parents or a sibling. 
And typically, these are the characteristics that we love or we need to heal from. One of the things that I have noticed a great deal is that relationships aren't, especially love relationships, they're not always there just to... um, just to be in the relationship. It's about healing, healing yourself. It's about, okay, this person, this really triggers me. Now this person is doing it and it triggers me. Now this person is doing it and it triggers me. So then the question isn't about the trigger, about the person that's triggering you. Because I've heard people say, why is everybody annoying me? That's a really good way to put it. And why are they? There's something going on with you, okay? There's something that you need to um, really look at and examine within yourself that helps you understand why you're being triggered. Where's the source of that trigger? So today we're going to do some really powerful clearings, whether you're listening re-listening, um, no matter what, this these clearings should help you. So the first clearing on YouTube is at 1625 and on Blog Talk, it's at 1325 approximately. And we're going to go with stuck. I'm stuck, right? So being stuck And I'm not saying in relationships and patterns, just I'm stuck. I get a yes. We're going to start clearing that. And we often don't even realize where or how or why we are stuck. We just know we're stuck. Or sometimes we don't even know we're stuck. We think everything is fine and it's everybody else. Okay. Uh, Hey, Joe, how are you? Oh, it's Kayla. Kayla. Hey, Kayla here. Uh, for the first time. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm sorry I have to repeat this, but for some reason, blog talk is not um, typically on holidays. I completely forgot about this. I always do my show every Monday, no matter what, even if it falls on a holiday. The only time I didn't do my shows on the Monday was when I was in Colombia and I couldn't get a connection for the show. Um, but I, I forgot that on, on holidays, um, the call line can sometimes be uh, funny and, uh, they drop calls on holidays, on um, blog talk. And I really, I'm so sorry for everybody trying to get through on that. So instead we're doing clearings. And if you have a question, please, uh, put your question in the chat. I will try to answer it for you. Um, Genevieve, finances, interference, coming soon. Okay, Genevieve, I love that you have a finance question because the first thing we're going to do is clear that. Okay, I want to say, okay, thanks, Steve, for connecting through YouTube. I love that. And thank you for for being with me on LinkedIn, too. Um, Genevieve, money is coming into you. I want to say, um, what's, uh, you know, what is weird is I feel like you're going to hear something very soon about this money. If you haven't heard something in May, you're going to hear about it in the beginning of June. Now I'm going to tell you, here's what I say about money. If you are waiting on money, let's say um, uh, if you're if there's money that's supposed to be coming to you or money that is uh, you're working for or a goal you have with money, put that goal, you know, have that goal, have that knowing it's coming to you. But then get in that place. And I cannot stress this enough because you will be amazed at how quickly this makes everything move, okay? Get in that place where you're working on your money. And that doesn't mean literally bringing money to you right now. What that means is you are working on your ideas, your patents, your 
career, your business, your you're doing, you're doing it, it, whatever it is, you're doing it. You're working toward or working on what's going to bring you prosperity in the future. And when you do that, all of a sudden, all the money channels open and it's coming to you in all different ways from different directions. Okay. So for money, it's such a particular weird thing. And okay, last week on Create a Life You Love, <laughs> The show, my battery on my computer died and the show ended with me saying, and this is, this is so true. And I'm going to, I'm just going to put it out here. Um, money has a frequency and we, only we give it value. Okay. The value of a hundred dollars to me and the value of a hundred dollars to uh, somebody else is completely different. I have um, I have friends and uh, people in my life on on every every level, and and level doesn't mean better than or worse than in any way, shape, or form. It's just their understanding of the world. Some people who possibly don't bring in as much finances have a more of us, uh, what they would consider, uh, more, they focus more on their spiritual understanding. But let me say this, if you understand spirituality in the truest form, and it's okay if you want to argue with me, but I'm going to tell you, go argue with, with your deities. Don't argue with me. Don't waste your time because I'm just going to repeat what I repeat, okay? I'm going to keep repeating what they tell me. This is an abundant place. This is an abundant planet. We are here to prosper. Anything that has is demonized um, in any way, the people who are demonizing it usually are stockpiling it. So those like the Catholic Church, for example, oh, you 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 have to give us this. They literally bill you. If you are part of a church, many churches, they will literally bill you every month. It's supposed to be a tithing. What I want to give from my heart, what I feel good giving. You're, you're not entitled to what I earn. It's I can give what I feel is right at any given time. But back to this. And if you want to argue with me about tithing, it's your energy wasted arguing. Here's the thing. The Catholic Church, for example, has a city of gold under the Vatican. Art, cars, literally gold and money. Go back in the 60 minute and 2020 interviews about the Vatican, where they walk through the underneath, the city underneath the Vatican and all the things that they have. Yet they're telling us we need to not have it. Who does that even make sense to? And why would you buy into that? That's like saying don't have air, don't have food. Okay, we need money to survive, first of all. It's just one of those things. And second, money is only bad if you think it's bad. Money in itself is, is, is it's a piece of paper. It's a piece of paper or a, a copper or a silver. It's a coin or a piece of paper. That's it. You give it value. And where my show ended last week when my battery died, as I was saying, if you find a penny, you think a penny, you might think a penny has no value, right? Because it's just a penny. But then you notice that the penny from 1918 <laughs> And then I was making the comment, did they make pennies in 1918? And I think that's, I'm pretty sure that's where my my uh, battery died. Because then I didn't get to say, if it is from like, let's just say 1918, um, then all of a sudden, oh, well, maybe this is a collector's penny and it has value. Then all of a sudden you want to, 
you know, polish that penny and keep it and work on it. Money is just an energy. It's a frequency. And wherever your frequency is, that is going to be your frequency for finances. Whatever you believe about money, your comfort zone with money, your beliefs about money, all of that is going to come through in your frequency. Now, we were put here to be abundant and prosperous in every single area, every every area. And believe me, trust me, I talked to enough people up there, angels, guides, uh, ascended masters, uh, loved ones. Trust them. It, they... It's what you make it. In this world, it's what you make it. Now, maybe some wealthy people have done some bad things. I know a lot of really poor people that do really bad things. Okay? People do things because of who they are, not what they have. And like Ed Gein, Jeffrey Dahmer, I don't think they were millionaires or billionaires. They did bad things. Well, what we consider bad things. So just because somebody with a lot of money used their power inappropriately, trust me, if that person was peant poor, they would still be using their power inappropriately. And I see it. I see people with no money out here hustling and and um, and misusing their power. Okay? So it's not money in and of itself. So first and foremost, stop thinking of money as something good, bad, hard, or easy. It's just like everything else in love, in life, in love. <laughs> And in love, that what you love is going to flow to you. What you believe you deserve is going to come to you. What you believe is right for you and okay for you is going to be brought to you. That's it. That's It's just that simple. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Thank you.